Boom, 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 boom. I think you're wanting me to recognize the song, and I don't. Yeah, what is it? Boom, 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 That was not the beat. Back to our stupid reactions you did some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to those on Patreon. Follow us for the Twitter Cheers. account. Ring the bell to put on the notification squad. Bang! Follow us on person YouTube channels. Links in the It's description. so juicy. Today we are doing movie review. We did not watch a film. Sorry. Yep. Bummer. But we'll wing it. Uh, yeah, we're just going to pretend. Uh, improv is natural to us. It's, I believe, the Tamil film. Uh, Anbe Sivan, right? Close enough for that hand grenades. Yep. Uh, the 2003 film uh, directed by Sundar C mm. and uh, starring Kamal Hassan. We're we are first Kamal Hassan. We are finally here. We're Sorry, finally guys. here. <laughs> we have arrived. Um, and and also starring Mahad of, uh, a couple of people. The other main one, I guess, would be Madhavan. Yeah. Um, as far as well known. Yeah. Two. Um, the cinematic universe. It came out a while ago, so we're going to spoil it all for you. Yep. So, uh, assuming you've seen it. Yeah, I'm assuming everybody's seen this. So, Rick, I have a lot to say. Okay. I've actually written five paragraphs. Holy cow. That are probably better saved for the end. Or I might do an afterthought. It's up to you. Really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Because uh, they're about something in particular that's applicable to every single movie review and reaction we will ever do. Uh-huh. Um, because... The, really, the only thing I liked about the film was Kamal Hassan. Uh, there, the rest of it, there wasn't anything in it that I found meritorious. And I found his performance to be okay. It, it showed me he can act, but it wasn't what I was hoping for our out-the-gate thing. I was hoping and expecting all we have heard that it was going to be something that would be really riveting and, and show some of the either the gravitas or the skill. I could see his shape-shifting skill and I can see that he has capacity mm -hmm. as an actor and it makes me excited to look forward to what he can do. But as far as like a first out the gate, this one's a hard one for me to think that this is like at the top of his game. Mm. So, yeah, I agree. Um, I hated this film. Yeah. Absolutely uh, uh, did not like it. Probably one of my least, least favorite, favorite films we've ever seen. Yeah. Um, and... There was one big factor in it that was probably the biggest from taking it. It was probably would have been like a C minus film, but this took it to being an F. An F. And it's Madhavan. Oh, there's more. It's not yeah. just that. No, but there's he, a lot more. He, I think we've seen him in Three Idiots, and I don't remember him being absolute terrible. I don't remember that. Do you? No. Okay. Because it was like he wasn't even trying. I don't know if this was, like, his first film or if it was, like, like, I don't know what was going on, but, like, it was, it was, it was awful. Awful. And it made every, the best part of the film was the middle, where he was not in. Uh, See, for me, the only thing the that flashback. was, worth, the only thing for me that was worth watching that kept me engaged mm -hmm. and not entertained, no. just engaged, yeah. was watching Kamal Hassan. Yeah. Um, Everything else at every level down the down the pipe yeah. was really hard to yeah. Enjoy. And so I don't I don't want to harp on it. That's not fun for you guys. No, it's not fun for us. No, uh, we don't enjoy giving review like this was like a bad reviews. We don't enjoy it. No. <laughs> but we're and, gonna be honest. Um, but yeah, and before everybody says just stick to Bollywood, one we haven't liked all of Bollywood. We have, there's a bunch we haven't liked, and we've actually liked most Tamil films. So. Uh, shut up with your comment. Yeah. But, um, so you, you, we didn't really like it. My, my, the best part was when <sighs> Manhavan was not in it. Uh, cause he made it almost unwatchable. Uh, whenever he was on screen. I got, I was mad most of the time yeah. watching the film. I he, was just sitting there grabbing a pillow, squeezing yeah. it, just angry. It, it was <laughs> terrible. And <laughs> I think we've actually seen a few things for him. It was three days. I don't remember him being that bad. And so I don't know what was going on in this I film. Either. I don't either. But uh, the middle was probably the best part because, uh, one, I liked Kamal Hosan at in that character, the the pre-accident, I would suppose. Yeah, I liked him uh, both. Yeah, better. I mean, he wasn't bad ever. No. Um, he was definitely the strongest oh. part of this by 10,000 miles. Yep. Um, but um, I did, 
it, even though I didn't understand it, I did really enjoy the fight scene. I didn't understand how he was that talented in his fight. Right. It didn't make any sense. No. But I was so much, I was looking for something to enjoy. The choreography of yeah. the umbrella fight scene, while it wasn't believable, no. was very entertaining. I was like, does this guy have military back? I was, right. like, I was like, how does this guy know how to fight this well? Right. Uh, but it was a good fight scene. Yes. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find stuff to, to enjoy besides... To accentuate. Come right. on, Hussan. Right. I'm very much... We will watch a lot more of his stuff. Absolutely. I, I can definitely see he's a very talented actor. I would like to see something that the film and him both have that gravitas uh, at least have a level of artistic excellence not even not even excellence just at least meet this is going right into what i wrote <laughs> meet the standards of cinematic artistry uh, not even for the day because when you compare that film to the films that came out in 2003 it's it's didn't lagan come out around, around then uh around that time well you know what did come out in 2003 in india what? was mcbool oh yeah and in America, we had Kill Bill Volume 1, yeah. Open Range, um, uh, The Lord of the Rings Return of the King, yeah. The Last Samurai. To, this looks like it was made 10 it, years earlier. This looks like it was made in 1993, not two thousand. And also, Bo didn't Bombay come out before this? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to, I would have to double check that. Yeah, okay. The Bombay, which we love, came out in 1995. Okay. Which is a Tamil film. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Okay. All right. So this might be a this might be a short review. Yeah. Well, I, unless I read my paragraphs. Yeah. I don't want to just harp on it. I no. Don't, I don't want to do that. No. But there's not much for me to say that's positive. And I'm in the same boat. So that, the only thing that I liked, and I'm, we're talking everything. Guys. I didn't. I didn't much like the the story. Nope. I didn't. I didn't get it. I didn't there weren't get, justifications I didn't, for things. I didn't get why he was happy like giving these workers no. money when giving up his love. No. Didn't no. understand that. Uh, but. But, so, um, I can start reading my paragraph. It'll probably take me two to three minutes, and it is about, it, it covers not just this review, but it covers everything we've ever, we will ever do on this channel and have ever done. And it, and it kicks against people saying, you just don't get it because it's culturally not connected to you. Because there's going to be a lot of that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was actually cultural at all. Uh, it's not. One, it was also a ripoff of Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. Um... Like, it, that is, like, the first part and the la the end, they had, like, he was playing, they, it wasn't a direct ripoff, but it was heavily inspired, those two parts, by Plain Chains Automobiles, John Candy, and Steve Martin. Uh, and so that it was, a, I, I knew exactly what was going on, I could tell immediately that's what they were doing. Uh, it just, it didn't work for me. <laughs> so I... Yeah, I don't. You, you, yeah, let you me read say this. something. Let me, let I don't me read want, this, and you can edit. You yeah. can edit anything. I don't want to. No, 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 no. Because okay. this is this is about why I feel. And I, I think you're going to agree. Okay? okay. So this is really. Uh, it speaks for itself. Over the past 130 years, cinema, like all things, has undergone evolutionary transformation. Since its birth in 1888, the motion picture has undergone and will continue to undergo evolutionary transformation in the form of technological and artistic advancements in every area of cinematic discipline. A natural part of this evolutionary journey is for things that were once considered standard or breakthrough at one time to be eventually considered substandard or outdated later, usually to the point of being comical in comparison to the standards of the day. For example, when the original King Kong was released in 1933, it was considered at the time a cinematic masterpiece utilizing state-of-the-art stop-motion technology in ways that had never before been seen. However, if that film was released today as a serious endeavor in making a state-of-the-art movie, it would be mocked in comparison to the technological advancements that are considered formative and normative in cinema today. A motion picture living up to the universally accepted cinematic standards of its day isn't something to applaud. It's something to expect. Imagine a group of scientists somewhere in the world today publishing an article in which they celebrated the fact they just finished working on something where they applied quantum mechanics for the very first time. Should they be applauded for that work? Of course not. Any reputable scientist knows quantum mechanics was developed back in the early 20th century. Do they have the right to appreciate the fact they discovered something that was new for them? Of course, but they probably shouldn't tell the rest of the world it's as good as science as anything else out there. Comparatively, any film, along with all of its accompanying artistic disciplines, that doesn't live up to the universally accepted cinematic standards of its day should never be celebrated as if it did. 
This applies to every area of movie making, cinematography, writing, directing, lighting, acting, etc. you name it. However, way too frequently, we'll review a film or a performance based on what we know are the universally accepted cinematic standards of the day by reason of our decades of study and personal experience within the medium, yet we're told by many we are either wrong, biased, or simply don't get it because of cultural differences. Uh, imagine the aforementioned scientists telling the rest of the world they were wrong, biased, or simply didn't get it because you don't understand our cultural differences. Yes, of course you can like a film or a performance that violates the cinematic standards of its day, but you liking it doesn't make it great. And yes, it's absolutely true that someone could not fully appreciate a film or a performance because there are culturally specific things within them the person doesn't understand. But understanding cultural forms or societal traits of a particular society, region, race, or religious group isn't a criteria for great cinema. Culture is just one aspect of a film, and whether or not the audience understands it doesn't determine a film's greatness. Case in point, Parasite. There are a whole lot of things in Parasite I'm sure most of us missed because we are not from South Korea. Nonetheless, that film is great because it executed the accepted disciplines of cinematic artistry today with excellence and meritorious distinction. Therefore, in conclusion, you are absolutely and always will be entitled to say you love a film or an actor that everyone else on earth hates. No arguing with that. But when you say a film or a performance is great, but those of us who know see it violates the universally accepted standards of basic cinematic artistry of its day, you're not only wasting time trying to convince us otherwise, but proving you consider your own personal opinion to be more important than universally acknowledged truth, and you are ultimately hindering the work of those of us wanting to see cinema continue to grow, evolve, and be universally understood and appreciated. That was my <laughs> pontification. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, um, I could literally rag on most of this film. Right, like, yeah. And um, I'm not going to. What's the point? We didn't enjoy it, and that's fine. You can love this film. I'm not going to... I'm not gonna say you can't love this film. You can love it all you want. You can love, you can, you can love uh, Boyhood for all we care. Yeah, uh, but we did not like it. So yep. that is, that's essentially it. But I do want to see more of Kamal Hussain. Yeah, at least I was thankful at the end. I was like, Phew. at least I saw enough to recognize he can act. Yes. And I'm confident we're gonna see some stuff that he has even greater potential in. So. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, call us an idiot if you want to, that's fine. Um, but let us know what's the next Kamal Hussan film we should watch down below. <laughs>